All right, so I like to start off with working the jab, mainly because that's the first punch you're really gonna use in a fight to get your range, to get your speed, to get the other guy's speed. Jab. Is, yeah, jab is important and, and it'll loosen you up. You're, you're mostly throwing the jab, like exclusively throwing the jab, but you're moving your feet, you're moving your head, starting to get some blood flow. So that's what you wanna do when you, when you uh, warm up to start on the bag. And this is going jab head, jab body, off of the block. You're blocking the opponent's punch and you're throwing jab head and jab body. Couple more. Next round we're gonna work jab with two punches to the body. Throwing a jab upstairs and then going right hook, left hook, body. If you've established a good jab, your opponent's gonna be worrying about it, trying to pick it off. If he's picking off your jab or trying to block it, he's lifting his hands up, that's a good time you wanna to go to the body. And if you throw a right and a left together, you're building up some momentum. So it's a good way to build some power on, on your body shots, power and speed. Throw the jab up high and rip to the body. All right, time. All right, so next round is the one, three, two with a variation on that two, turning it into a right hook. This is setting up uh, power shots off of your jab to the head. The round before, we're, th we're throwing power shots off the jab to the body. Now we're throwing power shots to the head off the jab. He's throwing a quick jab and then turning that jab into a hook. He's not pulling the, the jab back too far. He's just hooking right off that jab. There you go. All right, start hooking. There you go. So to change it up a little bit, there you go. To change it up, he's, he's turning that two into a hook. It's also important to slide, slide to the left. Right, you get your head off the of center. There you go, nice. All right, rest. Good job. This is a great way to develop one, uh, one punch power, knockout power with your body shot. Since you're finishing with, a, with that third punch, the body shot, you can really isolate um, the transfer of power to the leg. And that's what you want to do. You want to rotate into that. You, th you step in with your jab, you, you rotate the right foot, and then you bend the left knee and rotate your hip into that left body shot. There you go. And this is good because the, the combination before was a one-two to the body, right? There was a one-two left to the body. This next one is a one-two, step to the right, straight right to the head, right? So we're working off the one-twos. When you're working uh, long on the bag, you want to build up, um, you know, combinations one off the other and you want to connect them all. You know, if you're working your jab, you want to set punches up off the jab. If you're working your one-twos, set up punches off of your one-two. Get that foot out. Ooh. There you go. He's, he's throwing the two, but you could also throw a right to the body. Um, a two, three. A hook, hook. Good, time. This is gonna give you some variety in your offensive attack. You don't ever wanna do the same stuff over and over again, right? You wanna have a lot of different angles of attack, a lot of different combinations. Good. 
And just with three combinations, yes. you can put those together in almost an endless variety. You know, you can you can start with a one three two, uh, then one two body, then one two pull counter, or you can mix those up in any way. But this is a good way to watch watch the boxer, or just kind of um, as a coach to watch the boxer and see what he remembers, or as as the boxer hitting the bag to recall the combinations you've been working on. Good. Time! Co combinations are great, but sometimes you want speed, right? Especially if, if your opponent's being very passive and just waiting on you, take advantage, throw some fast punches. This also just helps to develop the timing, reaction, speed. Your, your combinations eventually start coming out faster. Time! There you go. Don't pull your hands back too far. Don't pull your hands back too far. Keep them in front of you. There you go. There you go, thump in the bag. This is good for like getting around the elbows, getting on the inside of the elbows, going to the body. Mix it up upstairs too. There you go. It's very important to keep your chin down. Get the power from your legs, rotate your hips, good balance. Come on, don't stop. Right, you want to mix it up, head and body. Upstairs, downstairs. Make them bring their hands up, you go downstairs. Make them bring their hands down, go upstairs. Nice and easy, go, one, twos. Every 10 seconds, we're bursting. Right, we also do sprints in relation to this, that helps. Ready, go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Slow down, slow down, one twos, one twos, work, work, one twos. There you go, don't get so wide next time, but that's good. Go! This will test your endurance, definitely test your endurance. And it's close to a fight too. One twos, one twos. It's very similar to fight with the ebb and flow, with the energy, right? Because combinations are fast, and your energy uh, bursts this fast, right? And then there's then it slows back down. Last one, go! Come on, faster, go! Yeah. 